Cancer affects about 18.1 million people worldwide and can be caused by a number of proteins. Let's take a look at one such protein, the VEGF protein. The VEGF protein is formed from a V and W chain and helps construct new blood vessels for tumors called tumor-induced angiogenesis. When VEGF is released, it binds to the outer domain of the VEGF receptors on blood vessels. In its inactive state, VEGF exists as a single unit, but once the VEGF is activated, VEGF makes another copy of itself creating an active dimer. Dimerization then gives way to other processes that stimulate signaling proteins inside the cell, beginning the process for angiogenesis. But why is tumor angiogenesis a problem? Well, similar to how when you're watching TV, your sibling might steal the remote from you, by producing more VEGF proteins, tumors steal oxygen and nutrients from surrounding cells to support their rapid growth. This causes new blood vessels to grow near the tumor. The blood vessels are also often more leaky and disorganized than normal blood vessels. But targeted therapy can prevent tumor angiogenesis. Targeted therapy is a type of cancer treatment in which a drug is used to target specific proteins that help cancer cells reproduce. One example of such a drug is the anti-VEGF antibody drug Bevacizumab, which can bind to VEGF produced by tumors. As shown in the animation, Bevacizumab attaches to VEGF on both sides. That way, when VEGF is released by tumor cells, Bevacizumab prevents the VEGF protein from binding to VEGF receptors. The VEGF blockade restricts angiogenesis and stops the tumor from growing. The novel technology of VEGF targeting changes the way that cancer is treated. Already, anti-VEGF drugs have been approved to treat breast and lung cancer, which slow cancer development in patients and are improving the lives of so many who need this treatment.